In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the HP NV5055 all-in-one printer. So let's go ahead, get it out of the box and set it up. To start getting it out of the box, I'm going to slice open this piece of tape here. So when I open up the box, there's some stuff on top. Let's see what's on top. I first have the manuals and quick start guides. I'm going to put those aside. Next, I have the power cord for the printer. And I also have the 65 series cartridges for the printer as well. And to start getting the printer out of the box, I'm going to remove this cardboard piece here. And next, you want to lay the printer box flat on its side on a table so that you can actually pull it out. And to actually pull the printer out, there are these bag handles on the inside. So grab those handles and pull it out until the printer slips out of the box. And now that we've got it out of the package, there's also another reference guide inside the actual package. And what we need to do next is get rid of these two pieces of foam. And all you have to do is gently lift the printer up and pull the foam away. And do the same on the other side as well. Gently lift it up. And since we've gotten rid of the foam, it's time to take it out of the plastic bag. To do this, you can either cut the plastic bag open from the top and then get it out if you don't have any help. Or in my case, all I'm going to do is just grab the printer from the bottom like that and then pull the bag away. And there you go, the bag is gone. And you have the printer itself, which I can now place back onto the table gently. Now, before you actually power the printer on, the first step is to remove the piece of cardboard that the quick start guide actually shows you. And that's what we're going to do first. And to do this, we're just going to lift up the scan bed and remove that protective piece in there. And next we're going to remove this piece of blue tape that's holding the paper tray. And then we're going to grab this notch up here and pull up the printer cover. And right inside this cover is this cardboard protective piece and we're going to remove that. And then let's shut that cover. We will need to open it in a moment to install the cartridges. And now it's time to plug in the power cable. So I'm going to plug that into the slot on the back and then plug the other end into a power outlet. So the printer is plugged in and I'm going to power it on and wait for it to boot up. And when you now look at the touch screen, it asks you to select your language. I'm going to select English in my case. And now it wants to know your country or region. In my case, it is the USA. What HP recommends on the next screen is that you either use the app or go to 123.hp.com to set this printer up. However, I don't really recommend using this method entirely. I recommend a slight deviation from this. So what we're going to do is do a little bit of manual setup before we actually go to the app or go to the website. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tap info and then tap manual setup. And it says that it is checking the printer. And now it wants you to install the cartridges. So let's go ahead and do that. And in case you want to know how to do that, there is a little animation video up here that shows you exactly how to install the cartridges. And to do this, I'm going to open that compartment that we opened earlier up. And let's open that up. And opening that up actually reveals the cartridge slots on the inside. And this is where we're going to install the cartridges. And this printer has two different cartridges the 65 tricolor and the 65 black. We're going to install the tricolor first. Now, before you actually install the cartridge in the printer, make sure to remove this piece of tape, which is on the bottom of the connectors, and then grab the cartridge and insert it into the printer, and then pull on this tab to lock it into place. And let's repeat the same exact step with the black cartridge. So let's insert that in there and then pull on this tab till it locks into place. That was actually fairly simple. And let's close the compartment. And on the next screen, it says, thank you for installing HP Instant Ink Ready Cartridges. I'm just gonna hit OK. And then it wants me to align the printer. And there's an actual video that describes how this process works. And in order to align this, as the video shows, what it's gonna do is print out a page, which I'm gonna put back into the scan bed and then hit align and that should align the cartridges. Now, before we actually print the alignment page, let's load some paper into the printer. And to do this, we're gonna open up the paper tray, move the guides to the outermost positions and then insert the paper, close the tray and then hit the okay button. 
and then it starts printing out the alignment page as you can see here and the alignment page also has directions on the bottom in terms of how to place it on the scan bed and that's what I'm going to do right now is place it flat on the scan bed and as you can see here I'm going to place the alignment page with the top left hand corner of the page aligning with this little icon in the right hand corner of the scan bed I'm going to close the scan bed and then on screen you want to hit the scan option and let it scan the alignment page and now it says that the alignment was successful I'm going to hit OK and now it tells us to go back to the app or use 123.hp.com I still don't recommend doing this just yet so hit info and then go into advanced setup this will really save you quite a bit of grief when you use the app or go to the website so it's always better to do this manual setup before you go to your computer or your phone and it asks you for printer update options I'm going to hit install automatically and now it wants to know whether you'd like to share data with HP I don't see any issues with this I'll say allow HP to collect data and then hit continue and now it wants to know where you're using this in my case it's just a home printer and then it wants to know what I'm going to be using it for in the home in my case again it's just personal use and it says you've selected personal use and hit confirm and again it wants you to go back to install the app and once you hit OK on that screen, it brings you to the main screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Setup and then scroll down to Network Setup. And it says that the wireless is on. You want to make sure that it's on and then go into the wireless setup wizard. And it says that it is searching for wireless routers. So let's allow it to do that for a few seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and select my Wi-Fi network, which is my home network, Vortex 5G. And then I'm going to hit OK and enter the password and then hit OK and wait for it to connect and I know that HP doesn't recommend all these steps but I actually recommend doing this to reduce your pain when setting it up using a computer or your phone in fact I try to set this up directly through my computer and phone without going through these steps and I have to be honest there were quite a few glitches I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the printer update but I will definitely say that I do not recommend doing this directly through the computer or your app. I definitely recommend going through these few steps that I just showed you and this will reduce the amount of aggravation you have when setting this up. So it says that the connection is successful. I'm going to hit OK. And there you go. The printer is actually connected to my Wi-Fi network. And now I can go ahead and do the setup through my app or through the website. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to show you two different ways to set this up. The first way is using a computer, either Windows or Mac. The procedure is pretty much identical. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up using the HP Smart App. So to begin setting the printer up, I'm gonna open up a browser like Chrome in my case and type in 123.hp.com and hit enter. And when that page opens up, what I'm gonna do is also type in my model number. In my case, it is NV. 5055 select that printer from the list and hit search and now a page opens up that says install printer software I'm gonna click download and once it finishes downloading you'll actually see a file on the bottom left hand corner I'm gonna double tap that to open it up and then it starts up the HP easy start software and this does take a few minutes and the next page that opens up on that piece of software asks you to review and accept data collection settings. I'm gonna check that. And also lets you know that you should have powered up your printer and have paper ready to load. I'm gonna hit continue. And next it says that the printer has been found. And the reason it's been found so quickly is because we did that initial manual setup, which I highly recommend. And then hit continue. And it says that it is checking my software needs. It also lets me know that I finished aligning, which we did earlier. I'm going to hit continue again and on the next screen it says congratulations on your new NV5000 series and it goes on to talk about the NV5000 series instant ink features. I'm just going to hit continue and it wants to know whether I'd like to sign up for HP instant ink and I'm not going to select any plan. I'm just going to select no instant ink and hit continue. Now instant ink is HP's ink subscription service and I'm not going to sign up for this now. I'm just going to hit skip. And now it wants you to register your printer with HP and you can actually fill out your information and register the printer. This is very important for warranty purposes. 
In my case, I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to hit skip without activating. And then it needs to know where the printer is located. So I'm going to enter my postal code and hit continue. And it now says that it is searching for available software for this product. And on the next page, it wants to know if you'd like to install the full software package or just the basic drivers. Now, I do recommend the full software and driver package in case this is your primary computer. But in my case, I'm just going to select the basic drivers because that's all I really need and hit continue and then wait for it to download and install the software. Then it says that it is extracting and launching the software. Let's wait for it to do that. And now it seems to be installing the basic device software. And it'll do the same exact thing for the full package if you choose to go with the full package. And now it wants to know how you plan to connect the device to your computer. In my case, I'm just going to select the automatic setup option and then hit next. And I can actually see the device listed below. This is my device and you'll actually see it listed if it's already connected to your network, which it is. And in my case, I'm just going to select that device and hit next. And now it wants to know if I'd like to turn on device sharing and I'm going to say yes. And this ensures that other devices on my network can actually print to it. I'm going to hit yes. And it says that it is installing the network device. And finally, it says that the printer setup is complete. So your printer is now ready to use. And as I said earlier, the process is almost identical when doing it from a Mac. So I'm going to go to the App Store and search for the HP Smart App. Download that app and then open it up. And once that app opens up, what you're going to do is hit that plus sign on the top right hand corner. And you should now see that your HP NV5000 series printer, which we just connected to the network, is now visible. I'm going to select that. And that's pretty much all there is to setting this printer up or completing the setup on your phone. And in fact, when you tap on the printer from the home page, you can actually see the ink levels on the printer. And if you scroll down, you can actually change settings on the printer itself. Now, I will also be doing a full review of the HP NV5055. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to stay tuned for that full review. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below this video as well. So feel free to check that out as well. And I hope this video was really useful. If it was, please give us a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.